Oh man, I don't know why I keep on doing this to myself, but I did it. I did it again. I bought another project. I know you guys are probably thinking, Mike, why do you keep on doing this to yourself? You keep on buying all these projects and you know, haven't started hardly any of them. <laughs> this one we're gonna we're gonna start on. This one has actually been in the works for a while now. We uh so my son, we bought this Jeep and it was a three-speed Jeep and he could cruise around on it. And I really didn't like it because obviously I hurt myself on it, taking it off the trailer, but that's besides the point. But I wanted him to learn how to shift. And uh, I wanted him to learn how to do that so he could graduate to actually using a clutch style UTV. And I figured what best way to do that than have him on something that you could shift and learn the engine RPMs and get it going and do all the shifting and stuff. I'll be chirping gears and pulling Brody's going, arr, arr, arr. So we wind up uh, getting rid of his Jeep and getting him a Yamaha 2004 300 EX. Now, this thing hasn't had an easy day in its life. With the handlebars being bent, plastics broke in the center, it's melted from an aftermarket exhaust. Brake calibers loose, needs brakes all the way around. Back brakes doesn't even, don't even work. Front brakes, barely there. But she runs solid, and that's what counts. This thing is uh, a good, solid running machine. When uh, the guy came to the house and I test drove it on my property, yes, I test drove it without brakes. I'll tell you what, that was a, um, uh, a puckering experience to say the least. But, uh, you know, she runs pretty good. Now, there are some carburetor issues that I saw uh, when I was hitting third gear. She just didn't have the, the go juice anymore to make it, it go any faster, so she was sputtering out. Guy said that, yeah, the carburetor probably needs to be a little cleaned out and all this other stuff. And um, I was like, yeah, no big deal. I'll order a carb kit. We'll clean it out. We'll get her going. Well, after he left, you know, I started going over the four-wheeler after I checked the oil and stuff, and it seemed to be good and it is still good but then i started seeing things there are a little bit of warning signs sticking out and let me show you so taking off this plastic anybody's had these this is not how the plastic comes off but well first off i see <laughs> the frame the back frame just the tail section has been welded back on uh we got a pretty nasty bend here and i notice this right off the bat so i'm gonna have to reconstruct this and rebuild this not a problem um i thought i may have found out the reason why the back brakes don't work and because the reservoir has melted through so it has no brake fluid in the back uh, i wind up purchasing a new mass cylinder caliper brake pads and we can replace this too not a big deal but i think i found the reason why third gear was so hard to get going, maybe because of this. Now this air box is really hard to get off since, since the frame is pinched down there. So we're gonna cut this and bend it back out. But wait till you see this air filter. Look at this. Look at that thing, man. It is just falling apart. It's disintegrating. So I was like, no wonder this thing can't drive worth a dang in third gear. Maybe. That carburetor is just, well, we're gonna have to clean it out anyways, but it looks at like air filter, but it might be just a, a quick cleaning and get the gunk out of it because that is a gnarly, gnarly air filter. Like I said, this thing hasn't had an easy day in its whole life. And uh, it, ain't, it ain't gonna get any easier. I'll tell you that right now. So the one thing I like about this is the fact that all the plastic, everything for this is highly available now you guys remember when i built that uh yamaha that 84 yamaha that uh that was a little challenging because those plastics and seats and stuff they weren't available this is a 2004 so this is still has plenty of aftermarket parts for it i can buy all the plastics i can buy everything for this no problem at all so i'm not too scared the shocks they're decent for a little man. Probably uh, need to be replaced if I was to be riding on this much. Uh, those are fairly expensive. The chain down here, 
y'all give me your advice on this because the chain down here it seems a little loose i had someone tell me that that is normal but i'll tell you what's not normal is that much play they should they say it should have about inch and five eighths i'll measure that out but i think that's pretty excessive i know it's easily adjustable through here by un, uh, loosening these up and then cranking this spanner nut one way or another will tighten this up or loosen it uh, i do have the situation with this uh we'll we'll get it worked out it does have an aftermarket exhaust on it but they really mangled it in there so we're gonna have to heat wrap all this pipe up because look the guard's gone i i probably won't wind up making one and that'll be really cool to do but i'll wrap this whole thing other than that she's pretty sound i mean she starts up and she runs really good she's pretty strong uh, i'm not a big fan of all this plastic and everything so we might be doing something with this but the main thing was is i'm gonna let my son learn how to ride a clutched machine uh first and then we'll replace all the plastic so we're not going to try to make this thing pretty we're just going to make it functional so he can flip it and destroy it and bend it all up because it's going to need tires plastics all that stuff we're going to probably wind up putting some new grips on here we're going to work on the brakes obviously because you have to stop and uh we'll wind up fixing this frame sometime in the near future so i can get accessibility to that air box a little bit easier and then overall we'll wind up cleaning all this stuff up so it's a little bit safer it is missing its reverse gear lever because this does have reverse so that's pretty cool um other than that, she is pretty sound. I like the fact is it has aluminum rims. Uh, we're gonna wind up going with a wider tire on the back for traction. This is what I really like. Now the four wheelers I had in the past, they never had this netting on there. So when you do a get off a jump or you're doing something, your foot slips off, you don't wind up catching your leg in the back tire. This actually helps you uh, and prevents that from happening. So I thought that was kind of cool. So, whew, it is hotter than fish grease out today. So, overall, she's in pretty good shape. We'll let him uh, learn how to ride this and let he'll beat on it. But uh, we'll, start being, we'll start going through it and we'll start looking at the ball joints and the bearings and stuff. They all seem pretty good. Nothing, nothing is really excessive that I have to worry about. Uh, not like with that Yamaha. I can tell you right now that these handlebars, this side right here, sits a little... Uh, it sits a little bit lower. Uh, the headlight sits, it sags a little bit, but we'll wind up putting aftermarket on. Not a big deal. Um, but yeah, we'll replace all this too when the time comes. Like I said, I'm going to let my son destroy this thing uh, or get all the oops and daisies and this and that out of the way before we make this thing uh, uh, pretty again. So yeah, that's where we're at on that. So Yes, I got rid of a project, or I got rid of a, the Jeep for my son that he just got, but it was for a reason. He's learned what he needed to do on that. It's time to move on to a bigger machine. Yes, I got another project, but but we'll be working on that with you guys and showing everything, and uh, it'll, be, it'll be something that we keep and, and uh, get active on because it involves my son, so he's really going to want that. Uh, I don't know. We could go down to the barn, but it's kind of hectic right now. I'm selling everything. Yes, I am selling everything, not the projects, just selling everything to make room for these projects. I'm gonna step out of the sun. Whew, man, it's warm. So the reason why I'm selling everything because I gotta make room for these projects, like I'm saying, but it's just, I've just collected so much stuff throughout the years and it's just ridiculous about like how I won't get rid of things. And I know a lot of you guys who can relate to this, but man, I have a parts washer that I got for free 15, 18 years ago. And um, I haven't used it once. I have dragged that thing to like three different houses over the past 15, 18 years. I don't remember when I got it and I never really used it and I'm letting it go. Uh, I got a ton of lumber that I had projects uh, planned for, never did the projects, decided that if I even did the projects, I'm going to go a different route and use a uh, steel. And you know what? Letting that go too. I just had so many things that were cluttering up the downstairs area, uh, shelving, and everybody knows, anybody knows that if you have a shelf, you're going to put something on that shelf. 
So I got rid of the shelving. Well, I didn't get rid of it. I moved it upstairs. So the clutter can be upstairs and the oils and all the stuff that I stock on the shelves can be upstairs. And we totally opened up the barn. When I do um, the video on me working on this four wheeler, you guys will be able to see the finished project. I don't want to take you down there now because it's still like a blown up mess. So um, I like to get it all cleaned out and then take you guys for a tour down there. Cause uh, we're going to start working on some of these things. And um, one, that red truck, big red down there, we got to get a steering column for it. Uh, I got to drop the gas tank, get a sending unit for it. Uh, we got some work to do it because I have to be able to drive that back and forth uh, here shortly. Not for transportation, but just to get it out of the way so I can stop storing it down there. And then, because uh, we're going to be taking the cab off of Project Chuck, and I'm really going to need the room to go back and forth. So I really wanted to show you guys this new cool toy that we had. And my son is super stoked about it. It's his first big machine. And it, Dad took it for a test drive. And it's super stable. It's not like that 84 Yamaha where it was just, it seemed like it just wanted to flip over. So I just want to show you guys that, give you guys a heads up, and tell you where I'm at with this thing. And then I got another project. Yeah, another project. So I appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you on the next episode.